Hey guys, Alex Allgood here from Broad Productions, and today I'm going to show you how to properly track your footage inside of After Effects. Here I am, I am using CS5.5 on my Mac, and uh, I have my footage in here. This will be a very simple example. You'll realize tracking comes with, with just heavy, heavy practice. So we'll drag this in here, we'll make a new composition with this, and we're just going to be tracking my friend Dylan's face as he moves. Just Dylan saying if maybe we wanted to put some sort of effect on his face or maybe some text beside him. Whatever we would need to track for, you know, whatever we need. And uh, tracking is the basis of all visual effects work and motion graphics even. So, to get started, we have our footage. Let's right click on it. We have done nothing to the footage, no effects, anything, just straighten our timeline. Um, and we're going to click track motion. Now, it brings us up to a new... Uh, a viewer, I guess, and it comes up with a track point, and it's just this fun funky looking box. So we're gonna drag that up to a point that we could track off of. Now, this brings me to a good point. You want to sh definitely shoot for tracking. You don't want to shoot something and say, okay, well, I'll just find a tracking point in post because that never works. Never, never, never works. It'll just be a pain in the butt. So make sure when you're recording. Either there's something in your scene that stands out noticeably that you could track or that you have actual tracking points with like neon tape or something. When you see like a, you see it a lot on green screens or just behind the scenes on higher production movies, you'll see like X's on people or something or those suits with all the white dots on them. Those are tracking points because they're very visible and the tracker can follow them easily. His face is very nicely lit to where I can just follow his eyes because essentially the tracker just looks at pixels and uh, follows those pixels. So you want something very vibrant, um, like white on black, yellow on black, uh, red on white, you know, things like that. Now, by default, it, well, first it opens up this tracker window in the corner here. By default, it opens up the position tab. Now, for most cases, you would do, you wanna do position and rotation. I've never had an instance where I wanna do scale because that's never really truly accurate so I uh, just scale it myself but brings up a second point and maybe we'll go to his other eye now you want to make sure you give the tracker some accurate information how it works is you have two boxes you have a center point and uh, the first box is what the tracker is tracking if that makes sense so maybe we want to track just his eyeball then the second box is where the tracker looks at to find this so if you have a lot of movement in your scene, you want to make this bigger because if in one frame your eye moves from here to here, you want to make sure you have it in your, in your tracking view, but that will also take a lot longer to track because it has to search that for just that little eyeball. So try to make everything as tight as possible for the fastest tracking times, but do what you have to do to make it perfect. So there should be good because he really doesn't move a lot. Um, maybe make that just in his eyeball compensate just a tad so we'll go ahead and track it one thing I found out that helps me a lot is to do things in reverse I don't know why but the tracker tends to track things better in reverse you have these analyze buttons you can go by frame on the ends or just let it analyze itself so we're gonna go ahead and just click analyze backwards and from there as you can see it is just going frame by frame as the computer finds his eyes in tracking let it do its thing. This is when you can get your friends and be like, look at all the visual effects I'm doing. Oh, and that's when our tracker fails. This is not what you want. You want to make sure it uh, follows his eyes. So at this point, I would click Control Z and I would readjust. Um, maybe, maybe make it bigger because that wasn't enough. So we'll track it. He moves a little to the side, so I'll make these a little wider. Get that a little bigger, and we will try again. You never usually get a track, a good track, on your first try. So remember that. If you mess up and it fails, don't get mad at it. It's just what happens. All right, so I just finished tracking, um, about two seconds worth, and it worked all the way through, followed his eyes perfectly. Now, once you are done with your track, you want to go ahead and go up to Layer, New, Null object. Now your null will act as, as your parenting like uh, tracker. So we'll click edit target back in the tracker window. We'll make sure to go to apply motion to layer null. 
It might on default be on your movie, so go ahead and make sure it's on null. Click OK, and then click Apply. It's going to ask you for the X and Y axes, and for every case I've known of, you want to click Yes. Now, our null follows Dylan. Let's check it out. Go ahead and just put this on half so it goes a little faster. And now the null follows his eye. Fancy dancy. Um, so now how to use this is, let's say, well, being a layer or an explosion or whatever you're going to composite into your scene. For this, we'll just use a text. And I'll say, subscribe for more tutorials. Wow, that's... That's kind of weird. Uh, my subscribe for more tutorials. I'll go and make it white so you can see it. And uh, you know, I don't really know where to put this, but maybe make it a little smaller. Like that kind of like an earring. You know, make it an earring. You want to line it up to wherever you want it to to be positioned at, and you're going to go to this parent option in your timeline and go parent null. Now you can also use the pick whip, which is a little bit more visual, I guess and you can go to null and it parents it to that. So now, um, essentially your text layer follows all the positions and whatever you do to your null object, which is tracked to this one. They all work together. So now the subscribe text follows his ear like an earring, just like that. There we go. Perfect, now you can use this tracking method for anything, um, if you need to put something into a scene, if you're putting um, muzzle flashes or explosions or text or uh, some sort of color correction, like a secondary color correction in there, it, uh, it works for everything. Um, tracking really is the basics of all visual effects and compositing. Um, it is essential to know, so hopefully this tutorial was helpful. Um, in the future, I plan to make a more advanced tracking tutorial. Um, so stay out on the lookout for that. If you have any comments or concerns, feel free to leave a video response, a comment below, or even a uh, personal message to me on this channel. Also, if you have any requests for tutorials, let me know. I uh, hope you guys have a fantastic day. Keep shooting, keep editing, and have some fun.